Hey guys, welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity reign supreme. So we're back again for another video. We're doing yet again another unbox. This time around we're unboxing Power Rangers. That is Power Rangers Dino Thunder Red Ranger. Okay. The character names Connor McKnight's. Okay. We're going to crack this puppy open. Now, if you're not familiar with Dino Thunder, Dino Thunder took place many, 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 many years after Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, it actually ha finds Tommy Oliver, Tommy the Green Ranger, former Green Ranger, former White Ranger, former Red Zeal Ranger, former Red Turbo Ranger, as a, I believe, a paleontologist scientist who studies dinosaurs uh, he's working for a laboratory that some privately funded laboratory something goes wrong this island where it was on sinks everything's just falling apart it's just all chaos and then a little bit of time afterwards we find that he's now a science teacher in a city called reefside a brand new science teacher at a new school comes across a couple teenagers who he is assigned a detention for. So he's the teacher that has to make sure that they're, uh, you know, paying their punishments for whatever, for just being teenagers. And lo and behold, these teens come across some... They go on a field trip and they accidentally come across some stones, gems, which they suddenly touch and they're now bonded with and they become they find that they have abilities but there's some bad guys who are after them well luckily uh, their teacher is a former power ranger and he was waiting for this kind of situation to happen tommy was already prepared with morphers for these teenagers and he instructs them on how to become power rangers connor mcknight his character is a soccer jock who just wants to be, you know, just wants to get signed by a team, make it famous, be that that soccer athlete that, you know, he wants looked up to. He wants to just have all that fame and attention, you know? Well, he reluctantly takes on the role of the Red Ranger. Everything's a bit surreal for him and his teammates. Now, we did a review on the blue Dino Thunder Ranger. And I gotta say, that one, uh, Ethan, the blue Dino, Thun Dino Thunder Ranger was amazing. I loved how great that figure turned out. So, I said, hey, let's go grab red. So, we did. So, let's crack this puppy open. I'm looking for a cutting utensil of some kind. Don't know where that blade is, and I don't know where my Swiss Army knife is, so we are going to have to improvise. Yeah. Well, whatever. There we go. So oh, here we go. Now, if you've opened up a Power Ranger figure before, you know what we get. We get some awesome box art pose showing the energy effect. More box art, and that's our box. Now, we get quite a bit in here. We get a Dino Thunder Sword, Dino Thunder Blaster, Human Head. Alternate hands, red energy effect. I forget what exactly this this was as Dino Lance or something like that. So let's get everything out. Dino Blaster, Dino Hands, Dino Sword, 
or blade if you want. Now let's the fun part. Let's get him out of the plastic. There we go. So let's take a nice little look at him. Again, just like on Ethan the Blue Ranger, the Red Ranger's paint on his visor is top notch. Uh, I had an issue with the Green Zeo Ranger, Adam, where part of his visor had good paints and then the other half was, it was like they just phoned it in. It was completely off. Uh, as far as the belts, uh, belt paint is really good. And one thing I kind of actually like is there's a little defect here. Right at the back of the belt right there. You can kind of see where it looks like it's pushed in. There we go. I actually like that. And I'll tell you why. Imperfections give a little bit of realism. If the Power Rangers were real, would their, would their belt sit perfectly around them? Probably not. So I like that kind of an imperfection. I mean, that adds a little, little bit of character to it. Now the belts can move. Believe it or not, they don't come off. We wouldn't want them to come off. So, yeah, there's no snap or anything. Now, we just have one little holster part, and that's going to be for his blaster. Now, again, uh, I saw this very prominent on the blue Dino Ranger. We have the Morpher. Now, his Morpher was. All in blue. No, his was all white. Okay. Now, what's weird about that is you would think, okay, Blue Ranger should be blue, right? I'm going to put Ethan off to the side right there because we're going to do some comparing with him in a little bit. Uh, no, they actually gave Connor a red morpher. Now, if you're going to do that, it would have made more sense to... Uh, give Ethan, the Blue Ranger, a uh, Blue Morpher, right? Especially since Connor came out before Ethan did. Red Ranger came out before Blue Ranger, so. Um, maybe it was, I mean, the way it looks like, it looks like the diamond pattern that's on him right here. This little diamond pattern would have interfered with the color. But that's exactly what they did here. Because you can see the little diamond pattern right here. Coming out on both sides of the morpher. But this really, you know, you would think, okay, that should be blue. But, hey, it is what it is. Put him back over there. Because he would have the white diamond right here. So he should have a white diamond over here. But we don't see that. And they just have the red morpher. Um, maybe they decided to go in a different direction, but it adds continuity issues for the figure itself. Now again, the helmet sculpt looks fantastic here. I'm trying to get the camera to focus, guys, so I do apologize. Now, looking at the camera, it almost looks like the silver looks a little bit pronounced on one side than the other, but in person it doesn't look that way. Uh, we get good paint application on the on the crest right here for Dino Thunder. Everything else looks good. Um, this is your basic Ranger figure. So um, you got your basic Ranger joints, hinges, same movements you would see on any other Ranger figure, pretty much. Okay. This is not reinventing anything. Now, first we get our Dino Thunder sword. About the same as the uh, one I saw on uh, the Blue Ranger. Got a little bit of gold right where the blade meets. Very good detail here. Very good indeed. Now, the hands we get, they're, these are hands that will not hold anything. These are hands that are meant for their Dino Thunder pose when they either are ready to fight or... When they're about to unlock their powers and these diamond cuts, these little diamond blades actually extend out kind of their way of stepping up their Dino Thunder powers. Okay. 
Of course, we get the little blaster. Now, one thing that I did notice very uh, strangely, now get Ethan's blaster out. Now, this is something that I could probably fix myself, and I may actually consider it. Now, Red Ranger's blaster has a little gold right at the tips there, okay? Right at the barrel of the blaster, so to speak. Okay, you guys can see that. Very clear. There's gold. We can see that right there. Ethan, Blue Ranger. No gold. We can see that pretty clear. No gold at all on there. Now, all I would really have to do, a little bit of tape, maybe some painter's tape on here and here that is covering this so that only the top part comes out that is shown. And then just a little faint dry brushing of gold on there. Maybe do a quick spray of sealer to protect it and we should be good. now. I'm sure there's plenty of other people who are more experienced who have better ideas and thoughts on that. Another thing is on Ethan's, we have a little bit of a plastic, a uh, little white chunk of plastic that's sticking out. I should be able to smooth that over maybe with a, a file or even a couple passes of a, of a low grit, low, uh, or not high grit, but a low grit uh, sandpaper, just a couple passes. And then maybe hit it up with a little bit of silver argent to help improve that. So that's a thing that I could do. That's one thought, one idea, one little crazy concern. Now we also get Connor's head. And this does not look like the actor in any shape or form. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, it's not focusing. I'm sorry. But if you guys can see this, I mean, the face itself, it's not the greatest. To me, that does not look like him. The eyes are a bit big. His whole jaw, it just looks like you took your jaw and just expanded it like maybe uh, a tenth of his actual face just was like spread out, made him look more hero jawline kind of thing. It's just, this is not how the actor looked. They, they did a great job on the hair. Again, Hasbro, you do great on, on the hair sculpt, but the rest of the face, not so much. Um, this is one problem I've had with the uh, Lightning Collection. They do fantastic uh, sculpts on monsters, on the villains. They look amazing. However, when it comes to human heads, they really lose it. They don't do great at all. Um, and that's why if you were to see a close-up of my Ranger collection, um, pretty much you can see all the heads have their helmets on because I really don't put the heads on. The human heads, I do not reveal. I just don't. Now, the energy effect that we get, it's kind of this little fire, kind of a fire blade kind of thing going on. You have to play around with it to kind of get this kind of action because you wanted to, oh, maybe I should spin that around. Yeah. Oh, that was right. Like he's holding the sword and he's going to bring this fire blade around. Yeah, I should spin that around. That'll look better. I mean, I really should take a look at how this is set up. There we go. This kind of looks a little better. Fire is kind of wrapping around the sword. That looks better. Uh, now, we have his lance. Now, the lance is... Let's see. Will it come apart? I thought I remember this coming apart in the show. I could be wrong. Yeah, this looks like one solid piece here. Because I was curious to see if... If the weapons had any kind of combining... 
options there because with uh, Ethan's uh, Triceratops shield, it has this little blade that comes out. It's been a while since I watched the show, but I seem to remember that the weapons could combine. I wanted to see if there was any way that these had a combining function on there because I really thought that would have been cool. But apparently it looks like uh, no, no dice on that. At least not that I can see here. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any way that this would lock into place. So uh, that's not an option, guys. I apologize. But here we are. We have his uh, dino staff, his T-Rex uh, staff, if you will. And it is uh, definitely taller than he is lay him down for comparison from his foot all the way up for some reason uh, the angle here makes it look like it's not perfectly but it is aligned perfectly with his foot you can see it right there very tall weapon this is probably the longest weapon I think we've seen uh, any of the rangers have If we can get this in his hand, and we can. Now I know some people recommend using a hair dryer to soften up the plastic so that you don't damage the hands. That may be something I should have to try. But the ranger himself, he stands there. I don't have any discs on his feet here. And he's just standing right there on my large desk mouse pad here. But all in all, I mean, it's a great figure. They're definitely leading the pack with the paint sculpts. Um... I haven't seen a really great paint sculpt like this since, um, I mean, for the most part, the Zeo figures have been really good. Um, I really like the paint on the gold Zeo Ranger. But, I really like how this is turning out. I mean, the diamonds look, the diamond shapes on the suit look very fantastic here. They're definitely killing it with the uh, with the Dino uh, Dino Thunder. I really might. I know I'm I'm harping, but my my wish is this. I really want them to do more monsters. Um, Veltrax would be good. You know, give us Mezagog. That would be really cool. Mezagog was the big bad from uh, Dino Thunder. So there we go. Very cool pose here. And also the red is fairly consistent. There is a slight little tone difference from the lower torso to the upper torso. But it's very negligible. I mean, depending on your light, you're really not going to notice it, guys. So there we go. We have... Let's put Ethan's shield back on. Now, I could actually get a third. I do have a third Dino Thunder Ranger, technically speaking. I have the Walgreens exclusive uh, white Dino Thunder Ranger, Trent, who was actually uh, a bad guy first, and then he became good. Kind of went the Tommy route. So, there we are. What do you think about these? Um, I really like the Dino Thunder. Maybe I'm partial because it was a season that featured uh, Jason David Frank back as Tommy Oliver. And I'm really waiting to see how they, at they attack 
his figure because obviously you can't have the whole Dino Thunder team without the black Bronchio Ranger. Uh, that was Tommy's Dr. Oliver's uh, Dr. O as they like to call him. Uh, that was Dr. O's uh, power. He got the black gem which bestowed him the power of invisibility and uh, you know he was back. He kind of had uh, almost a Turbo-esque uh, morpher where most of the rangers had a had a morpher that had like a dino uh, dinosaur face on it but with Tommy's it had kind of that but it had an additional key so for him to morph he would have to put the key in turn it and then he could morph into his black dino thunder powers and he had a brachio staff which was more like a spear kind of a weapon uh, similar to a style of uh, Andros from Lost in Space. Um, but he had that. I mean, he was, you know, he proved that, you know, he wasn't Tommy anymore. He was Dr. Tommy Oliver. Much, much older person, but he could still pull off being a ranger. It proves that we could see rangers past their teenage years. Past their, th you know, he was, what, maybe in his uh, early 30s at the time, maybe? And, I mean, it's, you know, it was very cool to see that, yeah, there's no age limit on being a ranger. You could be a ranger at any age. Which, I really th wish they would kind of visit again. I mean, don't make the entire teams of, you know, 40-somethings, obviously. Uh, but, no, maybe give us some 20-somethings. I mean, the only time that they really came close to that was... They kind of came close to that with um, Operation Overdrive. And they also came close with, uh, well, they did it a couple other times. They did it with uh, SPD, Power Rangers SPD, which was in the future. And also another future one, which was Power Rangers RPM. I liked those three shows, actually. Um, Operation Overdrive was a little corny at times, but yeah, this is, this is a, kid, a kid show. So you're going to have the silly, kind of obvious humor and jokes right there, but... So there we are. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I have to give the Red Dino Thunder Ranger... Um, gotta give him an eight, eight and a half to a 9. I mean, it's a really good figure. It's a solid figure. A nice energy effect here. Um, reason why I'm giving him about 8.5 to a 9 at most... Um, the head sculpt really downgraded it. The head sculpt, if it wasn't so thick of a, a jaw frame... Um, I think it would be better... And second, I'm curious to see, because in this series, at one point, Connor learned to channel his power and combine it with uh, Kira and Ethan's power so that he can become a Triassic Ranger. Basically bringing all their powers together to give him a super power-up and a battleizer type outfit, basically. Um, I would really like to see... Um, how are they going to tackle that? Are they going to give us a brand new figure, or are they going to give us some kind of special accessory set that would come over his outfit and change. Odds are they're probably going to introduce it as a completely different figure. Or maybe some kind of like special two-pack. Like they did uh, Tommy with the putty. Maybe we can get Triassic with Mezagog or, uh, you know, Veltrax. Or, was it? I, I want to say, no, Zeltrax? Zeltrax was the name, I'm sorry. And there was one other... Uh, Power Ranger uh, show that did not have them as high school teenagers. Um, that was also uh, it was called Mystic Force. Now I haven't watched any of the, I haven't watched the recent seasons. The past four or five seasons, I haven't watched, so I really can't speak to that. There may they might have been formatting that, but my idea was more of mid to late twenties, you know, older style. But that was my thought. So there we are. I know I got a little long-winded, and I apologize for that, guys. Uh, but here we are. I, If you have the means to pick them up, I highly suggest you do. The paint sculpt on here is uh, some of the better sculpts that I've seen. Uh, and the application on here is just... its The paint application is tremendous. The sculpt on here is very solid. I mean, honestly, there's not really much of a sculpt that they've done other than the helmet. This is your basic ranger, just with extra paint. 
special detail to the paint application and you know of course it's special one-off belts but there we go i definitely think he's worth a grab if you can okay now i actually picked him up right now at target for about 1748 that's a pretty good deal guys usually you're going to be paying between probably 24 22 maybe maybe 19.99 like on uh, amazon or something like that but you know your local target see if they have them in stock get them for 1748 a few bucks less that's even better guys right i picked ethan up for about 19.99 so i did pretty good grabbing these figures I do have some other craziness coming through the pipeline, guys. Not Power Rangers, but I grabbed this guy. The Death Metal uh, Batman, and that's going to be a separate video. I just love how badass this guy looks. So be on the lookout for that video. But until next time. Oh, one more thing before we conclude the video. Um, I recently dropped an announcement. Now, right now we're at about 114 uh subs subscribers at the time of this recording i've announced that if we can get to 150 we're actually going to be doing a giveaway if we can get to 150 subscribers we're going to be giving away this a batman batarang now i'm going to leave a link to that uh to that video so you can check out the full announcement and also something new that we're doing is i'm leaving links in the description below for Basically, every week I'm doing five different YouTubers that I want to recommend you guys to check out. YouTubers that either they're unboxers, they're collectors along the same vein here. And I want you to please check them out. Check out their channels. If you like their channels, you like the video you're checking out, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to follow them as well. Trying to help expand the community as best as we possibly can. That's just something personally I'm doing. I'm calling it my YouTube Warriors. Okay? So every video, you're going to see a link to five separate YouTubers. And if you want to check them out, that'd be great. I'd really appreciate it if you did. Check them out. Check their videos. You know, everyone's got their own opinions, their own takes, their own, uh, their own vibes. And that's what it's about, guys. You know, what you think is going to be different from what I think. And that's what it's about, guys. So there we are. Again, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. If you got some questions, some thoughts, some concerns, some criticisms, hit me down in the comments section below, or feel free to email me at davesdimension78 at gmail.com. And like I said, we, I'm, I'm going to have a link for the giveaway announcement, which is already gone live. I hope you guys check it out. We're actually going to attempt to do a live stream, so it's going to have a bunch of chaos going on. And what better? I mean, this is the dimension where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. So thank you guys for checking us out. If you're not sub subscribing, why not hit that little red button you see right there in that bell so you can see all the craziness we have coming our way. So as always, I want to thank you guys for checking out the channel. And I want to say keep on busting, and I'll catch you on the flip side.